A young woman from the Quad Cities has hit it big. She co-wrote and produced a TV series that's now on Netflix's global top 10 list. And her journey includes working right here at TV6. Marsha Lenz introduces us to Megan Trinrood, Rock Island native and now a Hollywood screenwriter. Well, we have a new student with us today. Would you like to introduce yourself? Madison Nears. Well, everyone calls me Maddie. Welcome to the Split River High Afterlife Support Group. A new streaming TV series is getting a lot of attention. School Spirits is set at a high school where the ghosts of students from the past try to help figure out who killed Maddie. It's a young adult supernatural whodunit and was written by Rock Island native Megan Trinrood and her brother Nate. We, Nate and I got to do something really fun, which is we're uh, co-creators and writers, but we also serve as executive producers on the show. So we really got to be a part of the entire process. But it was a fascinating crash course for me personally because I hadn't been involved in a production in that sense before. It's been a long journey, which started when Megan was growing up in Rock Island. She had a passion for writing, went to college, then on to grad school in film and television. So you graduated from grad school mm -hmm. and then you came home. I was lost. I think the biggest lesson I've learned in my adult life is that there is no straight line to a goal. Um, but I came home, I didn't really know what I was going to do with my life. She didn't realize it back then, but her career was about to begin when she was asked to work in the TV6 newsroom as an assistant producer. It's a terrifying job in a lot of ways. With because of the deadlines. The deadlines. You have you, to really yes. be able to think on your and you, That's it. And yeah. you never know what's going to happen. So you're sitting, you're live on television. Anything could go wrong at any minute. And often does. Yeah. And you just have to adapt. Megan moved up in the ranks and in what was supposed to be six months in TV news, turned into six years. She even won an Emmy for her work producing a 10 o'clock newscast. You moved up very quickly, and it's probably because of all your background, as well as you're just a very smart person. You're so nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so um, did any of that broadcast background apply to working on your projects today? So I think it's made me really um, a better problem solver. It's made me more confident in tense situations. And I also think the collaborative nature of news was so huge in helping me understand what is the process of of working with a big production team, working with actors, directors. You shouldn't watch this. I don't know who did this to me. Stop! Stop! Oh, you were murdered. Welcome to the club. Now, Megan is married to the man she met while working at TV6. They've moved to Los Angeles, and the twists and turns of her passion are being played out in the characters of a successful TV series. First launched on Paramount+, Plus. Now in the top 10 on Netflix. I'm surprised by everything. <laughs> uh, it's been a really exciting and kind of bewildering ride at times. Um, the show will continue to be first run on Paramount Plus, so our second season will be on Paramount Plus first. But the Netflix debut was a great additional surprise. The police are considering this a missing person investigation. What was her name again? Maggie somebody? It's Maddie. After 10 years of waiting to get her big break, what's next for this Hollywood screenwriter? We want to keep working on in television if we can. We would love to do feature films. Uh, the great thing about the fact that it took us a little longer to get here in our careers is that we've had a lot of time to come up with ideas. <laughs> so we're just going to keep developing it's a great things. Way to look at it, it is. I mean, it's we feel so grateful and so lucky to have made it this far and to be able to be doing this. One of those ideas is to write a series about TV news, which makes you wonder, which newsroom characters would she write about? Oh, <laughs> good question. Oh, that was awesome. Wow. That was great. A lot of pride there. She's done fantastic. Yeah. So how did Megan and Nate actually get that project produced? Yeah, it was a, obviously a long journey for them. They started to try to sell the script, and the story is like a Hollywood script in itself. They were advised to write a book to get it launched, and so they wrote a graphic novel, and that is still in the publishing process. In the meantime, a producer just happened to find their pilot inside a drawer oh my gosh. and decided to go ahead and produce it. Uh. 
And for those who have seen it, it is, it's really good. It's not just because I love yeah. Megan. It is really something worth watching. It's well done. And the graphic novel is going to be coming out at some point. So yeah. that's yeah. going to be popular, know, too. It's not out yet because I wanted to peek on the second right? season. But no cheating. <laughs> no wow. cheating. Great wow. job, Marsha. That was amazing. Thanks, yeah. Marcia. Thank you.